Hi guys and welcome to this episode of Fishy Angler. Today we are on we are on Delaware Bay and we crabbing. So this is our pretty much first time. Uh, we're gonna be crabbing with the collapsible traps. We just laid out them all. We have like about 20 of them, and uh, we're gonna get down there and see what we can catch. Stay tuned. Let's see what we got this time. Looks like something is in there. Yeah, there is one. There you go. There you go. Да, увлечение пошло в обратную сторону. There is a small one. <laughs> and still and still hanging on on the chicken neck. I'm not gonna give it I'm not gonna give it up. <laughs> All right. This one is empty. They almost, they almost pull it up from under the spring. All right. Right here. And you're not yet. Oh, looks like something is in there. Yep. There is one, but it's a small one. Come on, get out. Mm -hmm. All right. Empty. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Look at this, guys. This is one nice crab. guys another round round after round let's see you gotta be kidding me yeah they're just stealing our chicken like crazy guys I mean I don't know something with these clips with these springs they are managed to, to get the chicken necks from under it so now we're just collecting our traps but we did a couple of rounds so we got some some nice we already got some pretty good yeah we do have some crops for dinner now 
<laughs> and uh, the tide will be changing so we're not gonna stay long when the currents start running we're gonna run from here too but for now we're just checking all the traps that we still have and there is another one that could be that probably will be small yeah it is five inch but we have enough big ones so I don't care let it grow and there's not much to eat there either so we have already enough some nice six six to seven inches crabs so should be enough for us but yeah we already been checking our traps and half of the traps we already pull out because we don't have chicken oh, there is another one so I guess this would be pretty much we're gonna be wrapping up our crab in here but but we'll check the ones that we still have but they still in chicken like freaking crazy huh and look at this guys how oh, dust this is some nice jimmy right here Ugh. some nice crap and this one is empty too no chicken all right so we got more than half of our crab traps out of commission now we used up all the chicken eggs and they still in the collect like crazy so we're just gonna run a couple of times maybe uh, the ones that we still have out there whatever we'll catch and uh, we're gonna wrap up on that so we have enough crabs for dinner now all right there you go, another one. Oh, there's one. Okay. Yep, there's another one. Nice crab. Well, this one we just caught a couple, but this one is small. Yeah, this is either exact five inches or smaller. So, yeah. Hey, let go, let go. Let go, dude. Dude, let go. Let go the small one. There you go. So the small one goes back, but you you will be you will be eaten. <laughs> But not too little, sir. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah, there's another Jimmy. Two more. Two more crabs. <laughs> this one. This one 
should be more than five. Yeah, this is five and a half. So that's good. All right. So not bad. So well guys, it was not bad of a morning today. The only thing that when they were actually hungry and eating everything, they stole a lot of chicken necks from us. So, and I had 10 to 15 extra pieces and they put out more than half of our crab traps out of the commission because we don't have chicken necks anymore. So, and uh, when the tide changed, we have left seven traps baited and and we still caught probably i don't know almost a dozen crabs so overall it was a good morning so we got almost three quarter bushels i would say you know two thirds of the bushel right now so we have plenty for dinner all right guys now the current is moving in and we can see the our buoys start already uh, feeling the current so we're probably going to be wrapping up soon so we won't lose any traps when the current start moving harder so it will definitely take those buoys under the water uh, actually it happened to us uh, when we came out earlier or last week or week before and yeah the current was so hard that we start we checked our traps probably a couple of times and uh, after that it took it under the water so we had to come next day on a low tide to collect them <laughs> so that time we pretty much didn't catch anything um, because we lost our traps we're not gonna we're not gonna let it happen today so we're probably gonna do probably two passes more and uh, we're gonna wrap up so if you like this video guys uh, hit thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and I'll see you all next time <laughs>